Hi y'all, and welcome to my first Valheim build video. I've been watching a lot of build videos recently, and I wanted to put in my own entry for a Viking longhouse. This one's a relatively simple build, and all you're going to need is wood, core wood, and stone. Let me know in the comments if there's anything you change, and don't forget to leave a like if you enjoy the video. You'll need the stone cutter to build with stone, but if you want, you can build the flooring with wood instead. All right, first things first. We'll need to use the hoe to flatten the large area where we're gonna build. Make sure it's as flat as possible and use the pickaxe to dig if you need it. Next, let's start on the frame. You need to use these pins on the ground about every four horizontal pieces just so that it supports the frame. This front area after the angle here is going to be 12 spaces across. And there you go, the frame is done for the flooring, now let's make a frame for the entryway. Starting at 4 spaces from the front left edge. Next, let's start on the flooring. We're just going to use regular stone blocks all throughout the inside of the frame. And remember, you can substitute the stone for wood floors. There we go, floor is done. Now let's add some steps leading up to the entryway. We'll have to remove a few wood pieces there to make the steps fit, but not a big issue. Next, we got the walls. Let's start with the smaller wall pieces. I prefer facing these towards the inside to make them look a bit like baseboards. Then we'll put in the larger wall pieces. 
and face them out to give it a nice varied look. Now, let's start on the second floor. I'm gonna build just enough so that we can start on the siding and the roof, then we'll build the rest later. Alright, that should be enough for now. Now let's put some walls on the sides of the house upstairs. Gotta put these 45 degree pieces on each side here. Don't forget the X at the top here for extra aesthetics. We gotta put these 45 degree support beams on the outmost wall here so that they match evenly with the walls on the side of the house. Let's also put some walls here. Then we'll do the same thing on the other side of the house. And that's our Viking house so far. Now we need to put in some support beams for where we'll eventually put in our chimneys. I'm using these 4 meter core wood logs because they're a bit stronger but also for aesthetics. Now we can go ahead and finish the flooring for the second floor. Don't forget to leave an open space for where the smoke from the fire will go. We're going to build a hearth as the fire source here, so since we don't need the space to be huge, we can use these small floor pieces to make it a bit smaller. Now, just like how we started the roof support on the sides, we place these 45 degree support beams one space away from the chimney area on each side.
Support beams done, let's put up some 45 degree roof pieces. Don't forget to leave space for the chimney here. I forgot one side until the very end. Let's put some gates here now. Now let's finish out the second floor by putting these baseboard pieces around it. Lastly, let's fill out these empty spaces here with 45 degree side pieces. We're going to do the same thing we did for the rest of the roof with the entryway. Gotta have the access for aesthetics. Got a little dark in the last shot, so here's a better view of the entryway. The last part of our build is going to be the chimney. Let's start on the inside. We're going to use 4 meter core wood poles for support here. and some regular wood beams all the way around this open area.
Then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Now we have to actually build the chimney walls and roof outside. Lastly, let's add some core wood support beams between the chimney posts downstairs. And let's add some baseboard pieces to the upstairs. Finally, we'll put in the hearths. And there you go. All that's left is to decorate it however you want. Like this. Got some banners, lights, and a sign put in. I also put in these 45 degree wood beams to give it a more traditional Viking house look. Built some tables and benches, put in some deer hide rugs. Got Ichthyr's Trophy dead center for those aesthetics. Then I got some deer trophies on the sides. I also put in some workbenches on each end of the house so that you can easily build anywhere around the house if you want to. Then the upstairs area I left kind of simple. I just put in four beds in the center. If you need more beds, you could always put more on the ends.
And there you go, that's my version of a Viking longhouse. Pretty simple build, and with all the furniture I put in, you can easily get comfort level 10 before even getting iron. Alright y'all, let me know what you think in the comments, or whether you'd change anything about it. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.